Hello, my name is Francesca Morselli. I'm an integration officer for Daria. And today we are here at the uh, chalet at the Bois de Vincennes, just a bit outside Paris for the Daria annual event 2018. The topic of this year's annual event is that of, uh, of open science. And we're really happy because more than 150 people registered for the event, so we're looking forward to it. The annual event is, I think, always a, a, a real highlight because it's like a family gathering of, of sorts. Um, it's great because it shows that Daria is much more than just uh, an infrastructure. It's also a brilliant network uh, of like-minded people who are very passionate about humanities and about digital humanities. This is a very special event for the Daria community because after working you know, virtually throughout a year um, with each other, we finally get to see each other in person. So it's, it's, it's a great event for us. There are a lot of discussion, a lot of debate. We can see very different people involved in the very different field and they are discussing and exchanging on, about their experience and about their mind and uh, so that's great. The topic of open science is really uh, very important in our uh, community and the topic of open science is coming up during the event in uh, different ways. For example, we have the workshop on the DH course registry and the topic of open science is also investigated by the two keynote speakers. The first one is Dr. John Tennant and he will talk about open science. It's not from a, a humanist perspective, but we're really excited to hear his point of view as a paleontologist actually. The second keynote uh, will be uh, by Professor Teresa Scassa. She will talk about IPR laws and she will explain in particular which tool and methodologies we can apply to make sure that our research output are as disseminated as much as possible but also as protected as necessary. I think research infrastructures like Daria are critical for the future of open science in, in Europe. The reason for this is that open science um, is supposed to be inclusive of all disciplines. So although it has the name science, it actually includes fields like engineering, mathematics, and the humanities and social sciences. And if we exclude Daria from these conversations, then we're not really creating an open infrastructure for that's open to everyone. So therefore, it's absolutely key that Daria and other relevant discipline-specific organizations like them are involved within the conversations at a high level and also within their communities. Open science is a big word. It comprises things like open data, open access, open reproducible research and uh, so forth. What open science really is, is a change of scientific culture. Open science as a theme for this year's annual event kind of forced itself upon us. If you think about recent developments like the broken deals with uh, publishers, but also if you think about things like the emerging European open science cloud, it is acknowledging that to a big extent, research today is data-driven and there are, of course, infrastructural needs that arise with that. And it's really all about openness becoming a core value of science. So if you think of open science as an engine for scientific innovation, then we can immediately see a strong synergies between doing open science and DARIA's activities. Open research is a step forward. Uh, we need to uh, assess, we need to seek community-driven, discipline-specific ways of making our research uh, workflows as well as research outputs openly available and totally transparent.
I'm sure this event uh, is leading the path to um, a lot of fruitful collaboration, uh, both inside Daria but also on the edges of Daria.